This is the start of season two. What's up, Rams, and welcome back to the Rams Morning Show. Today is February 8th, 2021. And today we're going to be diving into Black History Month. So we're going to be talking about a poet named Langston Hughes, who was an African-American poet. Keyword, Black History Month. So he grew up in Lawrence, Kansas. He was also a major leader of the Harlem Renaissance. Now you may be wondering, Langston Hughes, that's a very familiar name. Well, he made the poem Mother to Son. Now, if you have read that poem, you will notice that after that poem, your reading teacher has brung in any other stories by Langston Hughes. Reading teachers love him. He has amazing, there's always a deeper meaning to his poems. So I hope you learned about Langston Hughes, and I will see you all next time. Bye. When my roots ain't water down, growing, growing like a Guys, I'm your host, Yasir Jones, and welcome to Health and Wellness. Now, today's topic is all about making healthy choices. Now, what does this mean? <laughs> Making healthy choices mean making choices that are beneficial to your mental and physical health. If you make the choice to do 1 million push-ups in one day, it may not be too healthy because you're putting too much strain on your bones. Another example is telling yourself that you're going to drink 800 bottles of water a day. You may feel bloated or your stomach may hurt or you may not feel the best that day because you drank way too much. So there's the balance. You want to weigh the good things and the bad things. Now, if the bad things outweigh the good things, it's probably not a good decision. But if the good things outweigh the bad things, go ahead and do it. Another healthy choice is eating your fruits and vegetables. I know, you told me that you don't like to eat vegetables. I mean, it's okay. But one thing I will say is just eat some broccoli. My mom prepares my dish every single night with a plate full a broccoli like there's my chicken my macaroni and cheese and then I have like these huge broccoli things <laughs> once that's out of the way you can go ahead and get you a nice snack or dessert before after dinner so here's your takeaway making a healthy choice means weighing the pros and the cons that means that you need to think about a healthy choice and if that's eating better if that's saying the right things to people so you don't drive yourself crazy or just getting enough rest these are healthy choices I can't stretch it enough guys but I hope you all enjoyed health and wellness today and I'll see you all in the next episode bye guys welcome to Q&A now in honor of Black History Month we're gonna switch it up and ask Mr. Greenwich the questions today so how are you doing Mr. Greenwich good morning Lisa how are we doing today I just asked you how you were doing so going into the first question why was Black History Month created so in 1926 uh, uh, an abstain gentleman named Carter G. Woodson decided that it would be an honor to have what was called Negro History Week. And that was to celebrate the Emancipation Proximation by Abraham Lincoln. And it was around his birthday, which is actually the, I believe, the 12th. And then Frederick Douglass, whose birthday is actually Valentine's Day, the 14th. So he decided to have it that week and it became a two-week process because when i was a young kid it was two weeks and then in approximately 1971 when i was approximately in second grade it went to black history month and they kept it in that month and we keep the month of february here but in norway in denmark and in ireland they actually do black history month in october that's really interesting actually so now into the second question, as everyone probably should know by now, you are a social studies teacher. So being a social studies teacher, how do you incorporate Black History Month into your curriculum? Oh, ever, it was before I became a social studies teacher. So when I was a math teacher, I had, to, I had my students over the years look at all the Black historical math uh, uh, people. So people that were in mathematics, I made them do a math, a report on people of color that were highly into the mathematics. And then as I became a history teacher, once again, I do a black history report, or the students do a black history report. And every day now with the pandemic going on and we're virtual, every day my warm-ups consist of someone in black history so that they can find, find out about them. So today they did Granville T. Woods, um, and then there's a host of other people that they'll do throughout the course of the month um, to actually learn about some people today that they may have never known about because it's not in any history books. 
that I have ever seen since I've been in education for the 28 years I've been a teacher and prior to that, other than Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, and Harriet Tubman, and they're not the only people of color who have contributed to work the world. It's not just the United States, it's the world. And again, Black History Month was first called Negro History Month, then mm -hmm. became Black History Month. And over time, I think it's even now changing to African History Month um, because of all these labels that have been given to people of color throughout the years without even us being asked what to be called. And as people would always say, like, I can't turn off my skin color and just wait to February. I am a person of color 365 days a year like you are, like Ms. Archibald, and the other teachers that you'll see. We just don't turn at all. And it's kind of sad that even in our school culture that we don't even have a, a black history um, uh, uh, educational uh, platform. Like we have to wait to Black History Month or even even Spanish, Spanish History Month. I know that we've done that when, when our, our buddy Senior G used to do it, you know, every year. But it's sad that we don't even have a curriculum for it that you have to wait till you get to college. So I hope that one day it becomes in, because I'll be the first one in. Maybe I'll come back after retirement and do that. <laughs> Can you remember anything that you learned in that year I had you as a sixth grader? Any, any, just name anybody. You don't have to tell me anything about it. Just anybody that I've taught you about in Black History Month, because I went through a lot. You did. I remember Lynx and Hughes. There you go. If it's just yeah. one person that you learn that you would have not learned any other way, then mm -hmm. my done. It's not about everything. It's about one thing. Even yeah. before I had you as a teacher, I learned about him, but it was just the basics, but you went into detail about it. Thank you. Thank you. So that's just, that's, that's the way I look at education is, did you learn one more thing different the year I had you? And did you leave out of there with learning something different? And if you did, then I or any teacher has done their job. So I hope that everybody enjoys Black History Month. I will say this, there is a excellent Netflix um, video out, One Night in Miami, that's with Brother Malcolm X, Muhammad Ali, who was cast as Clay at the time, Jim Brown, and um, what's the singer? I'm, I'm asking my buddy. Sam Cooke. Sam Cook. See, there you go. Sam Cook. Yeah. So you guys should sit down. I've heard a lot of people talk about that. I've watched it. I'm going to watch it again. And it's a very um, unique time period. Most people don't realize that was the only hotel that people of color could stay in Miami. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's been wonderful talking to you, Elise, and the rest of the students. And for all of my older students, I, I, I'm glad to see you doing well in eighth grade. And if I don't get a chance to see you guys before you leave Samuel Ogle, I wish you nothing but happiness, blessings, and go on to do all the things that I know you can do once you get out of Samuel Ogle and go on up to high school and big and better things. So thank you for having me on. And you can have me anytime. I'm always open for questions. I just That's the only thing I miss about coming back to school. Hello and welcome to Motivational Minute. Today's Motivational Minute quote of the day is from Langston Hughes. When a man starts out to build a world, he starts first with himself. The takeaway, in other words, the translation from the quote is, in order to make changes in our world, we must first be willing to change. So that change starts with you, within yourself. And if you start there, you are ready to take on the world. And that's our Motivational Minute. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Worst thing ever, I tell you.